nice it's dragon flow so I've been reading a lot of Osho and he talks a lot about how a lot of parents raise their children to be politicians and by this he means a parent almost extracts the character out of the child almost wanting him just to say yes to whatever the parent wants and so he becomes a politician and just tells you what you want to hear and I really felt that this idea was incredible in other facades of life, right? Sometimes we surround ourselves with friends or with boyfriend, girlfriend or husband, wife that become politicians. They just tell us what we want to hear and that makes us happy. And so I'm here to tell you that this will only make you happy on a very superficial level. Uh, when you're around people that just tell you what you want to hear, it doesn't challenge you. You don't grow. You don't become a better person. So you actually want uh, people around you with character and so even in raising your children you want your child to be a little bit disobedient because it shows that he has his own character if your child is only telling you what you want to hear he's like sort of teacher's pet right it will make you happy he's behaved he's getting good marks but inside he's actually suffering and long term this is going to make you suffer believe it or not because the child is going to sort of disconnect with you and this was the same in relationships whether it's friends or significant others Somebody will only tell you what you want to hear for so long before you completely get them fed up or before you get fed up with them. What you want is a situation where people are telling you what you need to hear, not always what you want to hear. And I mean, don't get me wrong, because there's another completely different angle to this where people are always kind of being violent towards you and telling you things that are unneeded. But you need to be challenged mentally. And so people need to tell you what you need to hear. So I tell you, don't surround yourself with politicians. And by politicians, I don't mean people that are liberal or Republican. I mean people who put up a facade and just tell you nonsense just to make you feel happy for that moment. You have to surround yourself with people that give you a little bit of a mental edge and make you look at yourself from a different sort of way. Sort of like Elliot Hull says, uh, become a better version of yourself. And you can become a better version of yourself if you're always, always hearing, oh yes, you're wonderful, oh yes, you're perfect. And even with your kids, your kids can't just do what you want all the time because they must want something uniquely uh, for themselves, right? And so every relationship that you're in, if it's a positive and productive relationship, should give you some kind of mental stimulation. And in order for it to give you mental stimulation, it has to challenge you and it has to change you. If you're in relationships just because it will keep you the same person you've always been, that's not a good relationship. You're around politicians. Get rid of that. And so that's it. I hope this is helpful. So remember, be with people that stimulate you. Be with people that want to be fully themselves and that help you to be fully yourselves. And this is going to create a little bit of conflict, but it will be positive conflict, which is good for the both of you. Namaste.